Now, police call these guys ghost robbers because they look like trick-or-treaters. But they're actually very armed and dangerous, and so far they've robbed 10 gas stations in the Dayton area, including Riverside, Miami Township, and West Carrollton. And police say they may have hit two more locations over the weekend in Miamisburg and Centerville. Nicole Grigg is live at the scene in Miamisburg with new clues about these crooks. Nicole? Jack and Deborah, that's right, and I'm at uh, the latest gas station hit by what they're calling the ghost robbers. This is the BP uh, gas station off of Byers Road in Miamisburg, and today police are hoping they have a break in the case. We got three seconds. One. Listen again closely to this man's voice. Police hoping someone will recognize it. All of it, now, now, underneath, everything, everything. Yeah, yeah. Dayton police say there are two men working together, going around our area, hitting up gas stations. They're spreading themselves around, they are. Cheryl Ferris is the manager at Sammy's Food Mart off Smithville Road. Her store was one of the first hit last week by the ghost robbers. Nobody is, uh, it, to my knowledge, even touched, you know, and, and that makes it a lot easier to come back. Dayton police have dubbed them as the ghost robbers because of the white cloths they hide behind and little evidence left behind in almost a dozen robberies. For the most part, they have had two gloves on. The black male subject always has two gloves. The white male subject usually has one glove and his gun hands usually un. Uh, gloved. Detective Cash says a yellow glove may be another M.O. This surveillance video caught over the weekend at a shell station in Centerville. It's unclear if it's the ghost robbers. Today, a possible break in the case, though, as police found the suspected car dumped in a neighborhood in Kettering. Yes, give them what they want. Get them out of here. As for Cheryl and other clerks, they do all they can to protect themselves and their cash drawer. We keep next to nothing in them anyway, especially on third shift but now with this going on we're keeping even less money in now since police recovered the vehicle that they thought that they were driving they say they don't know what kind of vehicle these suspects would be driving now if you have any information or recognize uh, the audio that we just played for you you're asked to call Dayton police at 333 cops for now reporting live in Miamisburg Nicole Gregg ABC 22 news